All right, guys, if you hear my dogs breathing background, they're all up on my shoulders here. So, <laughs> anyway, so I haven't got my setup yet, but this is a little, let's move, this is a little review on this little Romanian Tokarov by M plus M Industries. Um, it's a beautiful little gun. It's a little Russian 1911 style. You can get these for around 200, 209. Um, it's one of the best values for your buck you can get. Although, I'll get to that in a minute. Now the safety's right here. Well, it's on half cock. It's I just safety checked it, but I'm not putting my finger on the trigger anyway. So here's the safety right here. There's different safeties for different models. Um, I really I didn't think I would like this too much, but it's very intuitive. To be honest, it may be better than the traditional 1911 style slide safety. I haven't put the time underneath it, but I do like the spot. It, it works. Uh, the trigger on this isn't too bad, really. It's it's a little bit rough, but it does the job. The sights are uh, sights are kind of crude. The rear is driftable. The front is not. Um, the hammer is a good little hammer. It's easy to cock. If uh, it's got a half cock position that locks the gun up because the safeties aren't original to these something they did with the import logs and everything um i haven't had a problem shooting this with regular with something called china sport ammo i got some romanian corrosive stuff surplus military surplus i bought just for the hell of it because surplus rounds are hot and they're hard to get um this is a hot rod cartridge it is uh there's reports out there that say this is this round can defeat body armor, you know, soft body armor. I'm not the expert in it, but it's one of them. You can read a bit, read up into that if that's something you're interested in. Um, for 200 bucks, you really can't beat it. Now I've run into a problem like this gun's 1950s, um, 70 years old. It will not shoot wolf go ammo. I might crime the ammo. There's no problems with it. But when I say it won't shoot, it won't fully seat the ammo. Um, I might crime the bullets. There's nothing different. Maybe it's such a small amount that the tolerance is too tight. That's the only thing I can think because it's not a failure to feed. It just will not fully chamber that round. And the round short. Just a tad bit. I don't know. It's a cool little gun. Um, it's blued. But to be honest, um, it's pretty easy to disassemble too, similar to a 1911. If you can get a 1911, get this. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think it's easier. Uh, if you want this gun, but to be a little bit better, the Yugoslavian model, uh, if it's another round, you can use those mags in here, but you can't swap them vice versa. Um, the I forgot how the safety selector is, but it's it's upgraded quite a bit. I think the sights are better. Uh, overall, it's probably a better gun, but this is, it's cooler in the hand, I think. But anyway, a little quick review. Hopefully soon we get some more reviews up. Got a bunch of cool stuff. All right, guys, later.